What's a tardigrade? More commonly referred to as water bears, they're tiny little critters that are known for being extremely resilient. They can handle high pressure, low pressure, extreme heat, extreme cold, radiation, dehydration, starvation, and then keep going once conditions improve. What's that got to do with Trino? Well, sometimes you want your queries to be as resilient as a tardigrade, and Trino has a mode developed under the codename Project Tardigrade, now called Fault Tolerant Execution, to serve that purpose. Your servers may not be able to operate in the vacuum of space the same way a tardigrade can survive it, but with Project Tardigrade enabled, you can be sure Trino won't be why they fail. I'm Colebound from Starburst, and let's talk about Fault Tolerant Execution. On a basic level, fault tolerant execution allows Trino to retry smaller parts of queries that would otherwise fail, which greatly enhances resilience. When you're sending long running massive queries to Trino in standard operation mode, one small sporadic failure anywhere along the way will cause the entire query to fail, which can be a bummer when you've been waiting two hours for query results that were 90% of the way there. If one of your servers that's a worker node has a hiccup, say bye to all of your progress. If you're transforming or writing data, that can be a massive headache. Turn on Project Tardigrade and Trino can and will retry parts of queries that fail, allowing it to keep running and to power through sporadic failures to resiliently finish long running memory intensive queries. How does it work? Trino's architecture breaks queries down into stages, then tasks, then splits. You can enable fault tolerance on the query level, which is a little more rudimentary. If the query fails, it'll just try running it again. Or more notably, you can enable it on the task level. Tasks are assigned to individual worker nodes in your Trino cluster, and with task level retries enabled, the coordinator can reassign tasks to different worker nodes to try it again and see if it works. This means that if a single worker node has an outage or something goes wrong on it, another worker node can pick up the slack, and once that previous worker node is back online, the query can continue executing with all of those worker nodes running. You can configure how many retry attempts the Trino engine does before giving up and declaring the query has failed, as well as how long to wait before each retry. This allows you to fine tune fault tolerant execution to your needs and to avoid excessive retries if you expect things to fail for good reasons. And how does a task get retried? Intermediate exchange data, aka your query progress, is spooled and stored, generally written to disk on a configured exchange manager. This progress being stored allows tasks and progress to be dropped by one worker node in a Trino cluster and then used by another node in the event of an outage, out of memory error, or fault during query execution. There's two key limitations of Project Tardigrade to note. Having task level retries enabled for large queries is going to involve writing query progress to disk, something Trino doesn't normally do. Writing to disk is a slower process than using memory, which means you're going to see a performance hit and longer run times for queries. This makes fault tolerant execution a poor choice for lightweight queries and simple analytics workloads that don't need the enhanced resilience. The other limitation is that it can't fix broken queries or make up for user error. If the query you submit is destined to fail, retrying it isn't going to fix that, and you're going to need to fix your query yourself. Trino is smart enough to avoid wasting time retrying queries when it can't correctly parse the SQL input, but if something is going to go wrong during query execution, failure will take longer too. Limitations aside, this resilience and fault tolerance is similar to what you might expect from Apache Spark, and Trino with fault tolerant execution enabled can run workloads similar to what you'd use Spark for. If you only need Spark and aren't already running Trino, you might be better off sticking with Spark. Project Tardigrade isn't really designed to supplant or completely replace Spark in all of the places it's already deployed. However, if you're already using Trino for analytics, you should consider using fault tolerant clusters with Trino to handle your batch and ETL workloads. Rather than using separate tools for analytics and dispatch processing of data, you can deploy multiple Trino clusters, some for analytics, some with fault tolerance enabled, and use them to handle all of your data needs. Rather than needing to worry about Spark SQL versus Trino SQL and the various differences in dialects, or stumble through Java-based SQL routines with Trino and Scala-based Spark jobs, you can use Trino for everything, which simplifies the mess, allows you to use the same languages and APIs for everything you're doing with data, and that's worth it. Of course, having multiple Trino clusters requires swapping between them, and that's where the Trino gateway comes in. A proxy and load balancer, it's equipped to serve as a unified interface for all of your Trino clusters. And if you have multiple Trino clusters deployed, it can route queries to the correct clusters as appropriate. You'll need to define routing rules so anyone submitting queries can manually specify whether to go towards your tardigrade clusters or towards your standard clusters. But once you've done that, you're cooking. Look forward to more about the Trino gateway in a future Trino 101 video. It's also worth noting that fault tolerant clusters are a key feature in Starburst Galaxy. And with Galaxy's cluster management, you don't need to do any of the configuration. 
Routing between clusters is easier too, and access control in Galaxy is far simpler than defining routing rules in the Trino gateway. If that sounds interesting, check out Galaxy. Links to Galaxy are in the description below, along with links to information and documentation on Trino's fault-tolerant execution. As always, thanks for watching.